Seizures are typically a life-threatening condition in which there is abnormal electrical activity in the brain that can cause people to have various symptoms, lose consciousness, shake, affect organs of the body, maybe they wet themselves or bite their tongue. It can cause people to die suddenly as well. So it can be very frightening to see someone who has a seizure, and the people that are best, best known to treat seizures are neurologists. There's also a condition that can mimic a seizure in which people shake, uh, may pretend like they lose consciousness, uh, they have abnormal movements, but there's no abnormal electrical activity in the brain that it causes this. What actually this is caused by is stress or anxiety that has been built up over the time and it's released in what looks like as a seizure. There are a few subtle differences that a doctor can recognize if they witness someone in this episode to see if it's a seizure or a non epileptogenic seizure. Uh, such as the types of movements that are happening, if the person is confused or awake when it happens, uh, if they did in fact bite their tongue or wet themselves. Um, so the treatment for a seizure and a non epileptogenic seizure, even though they may look somewhat similar, they're vastly different. A seizure comes from a normal brain activity, uh, and so this is really most often treated through medications. While a seizure from unconscious stress and unconscious anxiety that's built up is best treated through psychotherapy. Oftentimes in these people, there's a traumatic history in their life that has not yet been fully dealt with, or maybe there's some stress in their life that now, right now that brings it up. And so they need to work through this in a healthy way in order to pre prevent these from happening. One of the challenges is that someone can have both conditions, a seizure and non epileptogenic seizure. In those instances, they may need both types of uh, treatments uh, in order uh, to get uh, full health and healing.